Good morning from paradise. We are about to leave the Enka when I've just noticed how fast that is moving. So I think change of plan, we're gonna go down below finishing our coffees and seeing what that will do. <laughs> because we really don't wanna be sailing straight into it. That is where we are sailing today. So uh, that looks pretty nasty, a lot of rain. Just gonna give it another hour and see what's gonna happen. That's right. As much as this anchorage is not the most comfortable in the world, it's not the worst we've ever had, and probably a lot better than sailing into that monster. So the first mate's got it right. Coffee first, and we'll see what it looks like later. Well, today's plan's on hold. I'm on my break if you need anything. I'm considering doing full English breakfast since we are stuck here in that rain. What else, eh? Hour and a half later, it's still coming down. We need to see whether we can actually depart today or not. Uh, at least the sea is very nice and calm, so it's not terrible at all. But we don't really want to be sailing at this. We've got about 30 miles ahead of us, so there's not much of a wind at all. It's like from every single direction. It's now beginning of June and we are really experiencing the effects of the rainy season. And off we go. It's still a bit dark everywhere, but we think we can make it. Famous last words, eh? After all, we're not made of sugar, are we? Well, maybe the captain is. You're made of sugar. Sugar and spice and all things nice, that's me. Who knows what the first maid is made out of. Bitter and sour. <laughs> What's the rhyme? <laughs> Bitter and sour. After years on this vessel, full of bitterness, just like grapefruit. It's like if you are sucking on lemons. <laughs> Bitter at first, <laughs> but you get used to it. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Bulldog chewing on a wasp, if you can imagine that. Oh dear. <laughs> it's only 9.30 a.m. <laughs> we found a gap in the clouds and we're going for it. I, if this was a comfortable anchorage, I would have had no qualms about staying another day, but it's a bit rock and roll. And uh, the place that we're headed to is supposed to be flat and lagoon-like. So that ticks all the boxes for both of us, I think. Uh, it's only a short hop. We have just under 30 miles to go. Uh, so that's six hours and hopefully the wind is gonna cooperate so we can roll out some sails. But for now, we're motoring into it. Familiar story around here, but that's what you get when you're in the ITCZ uh, in rainy season, or at least at the start of rainy season. Not a lot of reliable wind. I need to turn into it a bit more. Best help, you know, so that I don't hear any negative feedback that I'm not doing anything, that I'm not pulling my weight. There you go, job done. So he does occasionally hear the negative feedback. I was wondering at this point. Usually when, when his mouth opens, my ear shuts. <laughs> In and out. I think he's got that written on one of his t-shirts somewhere. That's it, crank down. Perfectly trimmed. All good with today's passage. Uh, we are getting a bit of wind, but it's not cooperating fully. Uh, we've got another 20 miles to go. And because of the little squall that we had to wait out this morning, we didn't get underway uh, super early. So we're making progress while we can. Otherwise, very much looking forward to being in a lovely, flat, calm lagoon. Might stay there for a while. And the whole of the Bocas del Toro region uh, is very well sheltered. You can drop anchor almost anywhere, uh, as long as you dodge the coral heads, apparently. There's a lot of locals on their canoes again. 
there's a village where we're going to be anchoring so um, expecting a lot of people coming over wanting to trade the only problem is i don't have much left we kind of given out everything in bahia honda and we have reduced our supplies quite heavily because we're going back to europe in two months time so uh, we'll need to go through the cupboards and see what i can find the whole lagoon is so calm and flat I think we're gonna like it here for a few days. It's gonna feel like we are back in a marina. Last night was even difficult to pour the rum into my cocktail, how much the boat was moving. So this is gonna be definitely welcome change. It really is like anchoring in the middle of a jungle. I bet it's gonna be a lot of bugs, bloodthirsty animals. Even though we are so close to the village and the shore, it's extremely deep. We are now in 55 feet of depth. Um, so we're just gonna be slowly edging forward to see whether we can find something around 40 feet and drop the anchor. Me personally, I don't like any depth over 30 feet um, for simple reason. 30 feet is the deepest we can free dive. <laughs> so if something goes wrong and the anchor gets stuck, I know that up to 30 feet we can go and retrieve it. By we, I mean him. I can't go to 30 feet up. So anytime over 30 feet, I'm a bit nervous, but uh, it's supposed to be all sand slash mud, so it should be all good. No one likes fouled bottom. All right, 50 feet it is. Good job that there is no weather and no swell. We only have 200 feet of chain, so we're gonna be four to one ratio unless we go onto the road. So here we go, Captain's wish is my command. He says drop the anchor at 50 feet, let's do it. Actually getting all of the chain out may help to get all those twists out of it. So that's the positive. He hit the twists. Here's the master in the making. That's right. There are going to be no more twists on Bohemia. Twists, twists, everywhere. There's always a twist on Bohemia, exactly when you least expect it. Usually a big one that's going to jam the windlass. We never drop this much chain. We've got 200 feet here and you can see all the big windlass jamming twists ready to get sucked through. So we're taking the opportunity while we're in a deep anchorage just to feed it all the way out and uh, let this rope go through so we can pull the twists out. See what I have to work with. But apparently we still don't need a swivel. Can someone please talk to him? Do we need swivel? Yes or no? Comment down below. Don't comment. Don't get into it. You see, he doesn't want to hear it. He's in denial. Denial. You know how the stages goes. Denial, acceptance, realization, depression. <laughs> and finally, buying a swivel. <laughs> Do something useful and hold this, will you? I just wash my hands. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna feed it down slowly. Now we've just got to get these twists out. I think the chain was the easy bit. Well, you reap what you sow. All right, put that camera away and start helping. Enough ridiculing. Captain needs a hand here. <laughs> that was my helping hand. You don't see that very often, do you? <laughs> Normally is the finger, today is a hand. Just in case you were wondering what that was that just crept into shot, that was the helping hand. First time for everything on Bohemia. <laughs> I so much prefer the finger. This place is amazing, so tranquil and quiet. I think we're gonna be the noisiest people in the bay. All of that is mangroves and jungle, uh, which means only one thing, lots of insect. We have been warned that the entire Bocas del Toro area uh, is the buggiest 
place on earth and that was said to us by a sailor who circumnavigated so um, we're definitely not gonna take any chances and we're gonna seal in with our nettings for no seals and mosquitoes just as soon as we got all these twists out Talking of twists, I think I may go down below and do the orange twist for my Cosmopolitan. I'll leave him to it. He knows what he's doing. Your orange twist. Come back here. See ya. See, that was the goodbye hand. Well, we just arrived and got comfortable and the first mate volunteered to go and check for crocodiles. He's so kind sometimes. Anything to report? I am not leaving this slather, <laughs> literally. This area looks like Crocodile City. Risking my life to cool off, that's what it is. What's that? <laughs> See, I'm brave. <laughs> He's thinking about it. There's nothing looking back at me. At first I said, no, I'm fine, thank you. But then it got a bit hot. The sky started to clear and now I really need a little dip. First he was afraid, he was petrified. What do you think? Might be the last you see of the captain. That will be the day. My only advice is don't jump in, don't make any noise. Well, certainly refreshing. Nothing to see here. No one in the water. Half an hour and one leg later. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> You're not helping. It's a psychological encouragement, that is. Psychological something. I'm done. Hola. Pedro. Pedro. Como apóstol. Well, there you go. Little gifts from the ladies. So that's very nice. And um, we arranged a little trip for tomorrow. They're gonna take us to see the local waterfall. So that would be nice to actually spend some time with the local kids. This place is very special. We've only just arrived and I've already fallen in love with the place. Uh, we haven't been to a calmer and more pretty, tranquil anchorage in a long time. It's so unspoiled as well. We've already met the locals, they're extremely friendly and we've booked ourselves in for a tour of the local waterfall tomorrow with them. Okay, hands up. I had a couple of cocktail emails, but this place is just amazing. This is what cruising is about, especially for me. I mean, we are in this place where there's no real modern civilization. Uh, these people are just fishing and living their quiet lives and we are part of it. I just still can't believe it. It's just so overwhelming and I am so happy for the experience we are having here. Especially now, after two cocktails. <laughs> El Stronger cocktails. There's definitely something in the first mate cocktails this evening, but it's a gorgeous place here. It really already exceeded my expectations. It feels like we're already welcome and uh, part of the community. It's very special. I can't wait to see what Bacchus is all about. It's a, a real cruising ground to itself. Just looking at the chart, I think you could spend years exploring this place. It's extremely welcoming so far, uh, flat calm anchorages, and a really peaceful, tranquil location. You're made of sugar. Sugar and spice and all things nice, that's me. Who knows what the first mate is made out of. Bitter and sour. <laughs> After years on this vessel full of bitterness, just like grapefruit. Special thanks in this episode go to all of our patrons for keeping Bohemia's crew from running dry. If you've been enjoying our episodes and would like to buy us a drink, then please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash sailingbohemia. 
where you'll find a small menu of our favorite cocktails to choose from. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much, and here's to you. If you enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to tell YouTube all about it by commenting, liking, and sharing. See you next time.